Yo guys, my name is Patch, and today we're going to find out if single player rewards on foot drafts are actually worth it this year. As a lot of us know, last year single player rewards, they were kind of shit. So I'm hoping that they're actually good this year, because um, they needed stepping up from last year. So yeah. So yeah, I built my foot drafts. I got a kind of a... Now, I hope I'm kidding. It was a shit draft. I got a good one after, which I wasn't recording. I got a 186, but for this one... It was bad, I don't even want to talk about it, we'll just move on swiftly. So yeah, I won all four games. I played on semi-pro because I was still trying to get used to the game, by the way. Because, um, yeah, I tried professional and I lost, so I was like, ah, fuck that. So um, yeah, I tried again on semi-pro to just get used to the game and I won the foot draft. And this is what I got. I was kind of surprised about this. I actually got a foot draft token pack. I was like, wait. I won the foot draft and I get another foot draft token back, which I think is actually pretty decent because I also got two 7.5k packs as well. So I actually still made profit pretty much because I got into a FIFA points light. So yeah, I opened the pack and I did get a foot draft token, well, I would have thought so anyway. So yeah, I think they have actually made the rewards better. So um, yeah, single player foot drafts might be worth it this year. I'm actually glad they're up in the prices of things because um, Last year the rewards they gave up were just shit. And the two 7.5k packs I got literally nothing. But still, I got another foot draft token which I can go and do now. I'll probably make another video tomorrow. Um, my first ever attempt on the online foot draft. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's the end of the video guys. So what we found out today was foot draft rewards on single player are better than last year. So that's epic. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and bye bye.